Hi, it's Steve from True Health, and today I'm starting to put up my greenhouse. I have the 4x4s, which are 20 feet long by 12 feet, and it's going to be a pretty big space. So what we're going to do today is put up all of the PVC pipes to make the hoop house to go like this. So I'm going to be focusing on this area as they go up and you'll have a chance to actually see what's going on. So this is going to be the hoop house that actually is going to be dug down eventually into the ground. But first we've got to get the top up so it's warm enough to have the area to be able to do it. One of the things I'd like to do is grow uh, vegetables during the winter and doing cold hardy vegetables and also uh, things like lettuce and stuff like that. I also want to get a start early on the season for uh, this coming spring too. So to uh, create vegetables or grow vegetables that actually will provide a lot of nutrients. So. This greenhouse is hopefully going to do that and I can even grow tomatoes and cucumbers and stuff during the summer and control um, also the temperature and the water conditions for that and the tomatoes won't split and that type of thing. So really excited about this and I just want to show you uh, little bits of the greenhouse. So we have actually 20 pieces of PVC pipe uh, so two are bonded together and it creates basically 10 hoops for the length of the uh, greenhouse so I have it roughly every like two two and a half feet um, depending on where they were placed and we framed in the outside edge so that plastic could be put on it and also created a door which is about three feet uh, wide so that should be pretty good to go in and out um, with a small wheelbarrow so in order to provide a little strength to the structure we actually fitted the wood up around the PVC pipes so that it would actually have a lot of strength and can hold up against uh, wind and also when the snow starts falling it'll have a lot of good strength. So I want to show you the base of the outside of the greenhouse where the hoops actually are. So there's like bands that actually go around each one of the uh, base of the um, PVC pipes and there are straps there that actually secure it and also um, two screws that actually go into the 4x4. Four four. So basically the base of this are 4x4s four that go all the way around and just 12 feet wide again and 20 feet long. So these should hold on pretty good and up at the top we have fittings that allow it to do this type of angle and one of the things I have in the video um, is showing that they had nubs on each one of the tops of these and I had to sand them down to make sure that they wouldn't puncture the plastic when I put the uh, six mil plastic on. Okay, so this is the end that we framed in with the wooden side uh, to give it some good st stability. And this is the texture 111 that we put on. 
It basically took about three panels to do this and we secured them to a framework just like on the other side uh, but we secured it so that it would actually uh, be nice and warm uh, on this side and provide some structure so um, this should be pretty good pretty solid not move too much and actually uh, it was about $25 per sheet of the texture 111 so this actually costs about $86 to put um, on the end here. Uh, I didn't do it on the other side just because I like to actually see into the greenhouse from one side. So that's just my choice. So inside here, hopefully you can see this on the video, there is a big water tank here and a friend of mine had a few 350 gallon water tanks and basically what I'm going to do is submerge this down into the ground and actually it won't take up space in the middle of the greenhouse like it is right now but it'll be submerged way down in the ground and that'll allow us to have water. I'm going to do a solar water pump that actually will do between uh, one and a half gallons to two gallons a minute which would be pretty good because I can water stuff inside of this and won't have to use electricity to do it. And it's cold out here that's why I've got so many layers on but what we're going to do is actually cover this side with plastic right now and that'll prepare it for putting on the big sheet of plastic that's going to go over this. So it costs about $100 for the plastic and I got about 40 feet by 20 feet, 25 feet wide. Uh, so that should cover the whole um, area of the greenhouse. And then I also got some uh, cheaper plastic uh, that was from Home Depot and I'm going to cover both sides with that and that should help uh, insulate it really well. all up on the greenhouse and it's looking pretty good it's pretty tight up on top it took about six people to actually get this done so really happy that we uh, got that on and it was a challenge kind of tightening it up so if you ever decide to do a greenhouse like this uh, make sure that you have enough people especially if there's a little bit of wind um, that way you can secure it and tighten it up um, because the first attempt that we actually tried, it didn't work so well and it blew the big piece of plastic over. So always have enough people to do this part with you. So I'd like to show you a little bit around the perimeter of the greenhouse and then I'll just bring you inside and show you where I'm gonna be filming some of the uh, videos in the future. So looking at the greenhouse, um, we actually have some fairing strips and we brought the plastic down over one fairing strip and then put it under another to actually secure it nice and tight. So that's a way of tightening up your plastic on the greenhouse. And then the lower part is actually meant to roll up in the summer. So right now it has a 4x4 on it to secure it down. But eventually we're going to be able to roll it up so that airflow will go in both sides and there'll be some netting that goes on the bottom to stop uh, bugs and other creatures from crawling in. And the other side of the greenhouse, saw this a little bit earlier in the video. Actually, actually we have this uh, 350 gallon uh, tank here and that is hopefully gonna be used to do maybe some aquaponics. Um, so I'm leaving that outside as a possibility of something to do in the future. So let's go into the greenhouse. Oh, 
Okay, so here we go into the greenhouse and have started off some beds on the side here. One is almost completed, just needs plastic over it, so we'll have a double layering of plastic. Uh, down here, just filling in dirt here and going to be mixing up a little bit more peat moss and stuff like that and getting that ready to do a top uh, hoop type structure uh, so that it can actually keep in the heat at night. You'll notice on the floor there's actually black plastic right now and it's a little bit uh, kind of folded back and stuff because I'm in the process of digging up a hole that's actually going to go down quite far into the greenhouse about eight feet and right now I've got it about three and a half feet deep and I'm about ready to slide this water container that you see in the back, the 350 gallon water container. And I'm going to be lowering it into that hole there. I've taken about a ton and a half of dirt away to actually provide for that hole. And guess what? I've got about 25 more tons to go to actually dig out the whole base of this greenhouse. It's actually going to happen at about half that rate because this whole entire side right here is actually going to go down about eight feet. So that's going to be my winter project and this may wait until uh, the spring when I can actually shift what I've planted here and move it down here. I'm going to try growing tomatoes and also peppers in the greenhouse during the uh, summertime and I think it'll work really well because right here on both sides um, actually is going to be the area where it's rolled up and is also going to be venting at the end of the greenhouse. So you'll have to follow along with me and I'm also gonna post the progress on what is happening with the digging in my greenhouse. So it's great exercise and people think I'm crazy for doing this but I think it's gonna be an awesome workout throughout the winter, so follow me. So this is actually going to be the area where I am going to put in the two ventilation uh, areas where it's actually going to pop open when it gets a little bit too hot in here. And I'm thinking around 75, 80 degrees, it's gonna pop open and do some ventilation. So I'm gonna get those automatic spring uh, loaded uh, devices that actually helps open it up so it can go back and forth and actually cool it off but I'm not going to really do that until we get a little bit closer to spring because it hasn't been getting too hot in here but I think once it starts to get up into the 50s absolutely going to have to have it so actually when it gets up around 40 degrees it's going to start getting a little bit too hot because it's actually been going up to about anywhere from like 85 to 90 degrees in here. And so it does accumulate heat during the uh, daytime, even on cold days, but it's the nighttime when it's actually going to uh, start needing heat until we get to that point in spring. I cannot wait for spring. So thanks so much for watching this video. I so appreciate it. We're gonna have constant updates as things happen in the greenhouse. And one of the things I'm going to include on the end of this video is a material list, which is going to show all the different materials I use to create this. So if you're interested in doing this type of greenhouse or doing something like it, it should hopefully give you some ideas of what to do and what the cost might be. So if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, give it a like, and also please subscribe. I would so deeply appreciate that. Hope to see you in more videos in the future.